Well, hey, how's it going, everybody? So here I go again with another vehicle repair, something that I brought on myself by uh, heaving on the gas pedal too much, causing a little too much heat. As it would appear, I have a coolant leak. And it seems to be leaking from right in there. Let's see. That's the little Y thing. The, uh, that's part of the heater, uh, heater hose and the heater section that goes into the firewall. Um, let's see if I can get a shot of it here. All right. So I can see from inside the cab where the, the, the fluid had seeped out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix this up. Uh, I found a uh, repair on YouTube that I'm going to do myself. And uh, it should be interesting. I'm going to cut the hoses here. And I'm going to take this piece out. And then I'm going to uh, put in another small piece of hose. As you can see, it's not going to take that much. So, all right, let's get this done. Let's get this done. It should be an easy fix. I'll show you the, the price of everything after I get this done. Yeah, okay, so here I've got all my gear uh, for this fix. It's just simply, you know, some heater hose. A couple of uh, four, well, like four hose clamps. I got an extra one there, but... And then I got this, whoops. And then I got this, um, this here, this crimp tea, brass crimp tea, picked up. So I'm going to use this and this and... And some rags and that's about all you need okay I'll get to it oh my goodness I finally got that piece off so this is what it looks like there's the uh, piece that attaches to the engine the hoses are cut those are the cut holes got to cut them had to cut them and so I'm getting ready to put the other part on but that clamp this sucker here huh? sucker here whoa that sucker, whoa, she was on there super tight. Oh, what a fight to get that off. Of course, I haven't got the best pliers, but all right, carry on. Let's carry on. All right, back again. So this is what I've got done, as you can see. That's what I've got done. Uh, not quite as easy as it looks in other videos that I've seen, but uh, it's a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a task. And I got this one ready here. I just got to put that down. That's going to go on down on this here. So I may have to cut that a little bit shorter. I think I will. Okay. Yep. And there's the old piece. I don't know if I showed it already. There's the old piece I took out. You know what I mean? It's just a. It's just a Y shaped. That's all it is. Not much, no, nope, not not much different than the T the T shaped brass piece I put in there. So, all right, all right. So here's my finished job. This is what I got. I got that on the engine, and I've got I've got the uh, brass crimp T. Everything is tightened down. Uh, I tightened the hose clamps as good as I could, and I think what I did, what I might have done, was this one on the engine. I think I might have stripped. The hose clamp because I went to tighten it a little bit more and then all of a sudden it start, started turning and I kept turning it with a ratchet. I didn't think you could strip a hose clamp that easy with a small ratchet. I really didn't. But I'm going to leave it at that for now. It, it's still on there. It's still on there super tight like it won't budge. So, and I'm going to, you know, going to keep the tools with me and the other hose clamps. I've got another hose clamp. Plus, plus, I still have this guy here. If you know, I can put him back on. Still seems to be in pretty good shape. So I can, if need be, you know, if it starts to spring a leak again, I'll just put that back on. So there's my uh, little coolant repair. Uh, thanks to YouTube and thanks to other people that, you know, post these cheaper repairs up. So I'll, here I'll just, I just got the receipts here for you. I'll quickly show you how much I paid. For the the brass tea, you able to see it there, dollar ninety six for that brass tea. Uh, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, and then the hose clamps 
heater hose, just one foot of heater hose, dollar twenty nine, and the hose clamp seven seven dollars and forty forty two cents, I guess. Yeah, so there you go. Like, yeah, that was under under ten dollars. Well, right around ten bucks. So not bad. Not bad. Hopefully it holds. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers, and uh, I'll see you soon.